Hello everyone! Today we are going to do the Unboxing Fierce new portable high resolution music player, the M11. Here it is, the sealed package of the Fear M11. Let's start by first removing the sealed plastic film. Okay, with the plastic film removed, we can now see the packaging clearly. First thing you will notice is a pair of high-res audio certification stickers. On top of the regular high-res audio certification, the M11 is the first digital audio player to be accorded the high-res audio wireless certification. Before we look at the M11, let's have a look at the standard accessories included in the box. Here we have a USB Type-A to USB Type-C cable, a coaxial adapter cable, a clear silicon case, a concealed micro SD card tray injector pin, and finally a warranty card and a quick start guide. Okay. This is the moment everyone is waiting for. Here is the M11. The first thing you would notice is the protective sticker on the screen. Fear Smart High Res Music Player. Born for music. Please remove this protective film before use. Removing the protective sticker unveils a tempered glass screen protector pre-applied on the M11 and the factory. It protects your screen from getting scratched even before you start using the player. Incorporated the 45 degree grooves on the volume knob, coupled with the rigid lines and smooth circular elements on the left side of the player, coupled with the straight lines on others, gives the M11 a distinctive look. And at the front of the M11 is a large and colorful 5.15 inch, 18 by 9, 10 point multi-touch bezel less screen with large areas aiding to exaction of gestures. Both the front and the back of the M11 are finished with a gloss with the back Featuring a carbon fiber texture film, giving the device a high tech and a sophisticated look. On the left side, we have volume wear, play and a pause button, as well as the previous and the next track buttons. The volume wear is colored in gold, and a bold splash of contrast against the all black body. The two concealed micro SD card slots are on the right side, with each supporting up to 2 TB of storage capacity. And the power button is on the top side. Nowadays, banished headphone outputs are a must for all high end portable music players. The M11 goes one step further by including both the 2.5mm and 4.4mm banished outputs while retaining the 3.5mm single-ended output. There is no need for cumbersome adapters anymore. Simply just plug in your headphones to the right output jack and enjoy the music. The three headphone jacks and the Type-C charging port are placed in the row and at the bottom of the device. Now that you have understood the external functions of the M11, let's now power it on. Starting up for the first time, you will be asked to specify your language preference. Next, you will be asked your preferred method of navigation control. After which, you would arrive at the desktop of the M11. 
at a first glance, you would notice that only a selected number of apps are pre-installed. The M11 uses its Exynos 7872 SOC from Samsung, which runs on Android 7. Since March 2018, Google has closed it down under the Nougat certification, meaning to say the M11 is currently unable to be a Google Play certified device. Therefore, Google Play and Google Play related services are unavailable on the M11. However, this does not restrict you from installing any Azure app compatible with Azure 7 and below. The Fear Music app is one of the pre-installed apps, an integral app for the M11. The app features functionalities such as Wi-Fi file transfer and a Fear Link, which plays a very important role in connecting your M11 to other devices. What's more, the app now features an all new 10 band dynamic EQ supporting adjustments up to plus or minus 12 dB. And lastly, let's go through how you can connect the M11 with other devices to enjoy it to the fullest. Number one, connect the 3.5 mm single ended connector on your earphones to M11 via its 3.5 mm headphone jack. Number two, connect the 2.5 mm banister connector on your earphones to your M11 via its 2.5 mm headphone jack. Number three, connect the 4.4 mm banister connector on your earphones to your M11 via its 4.4 mm headphone jack. Number four, connect your M11 to an external amplifier there is 3.5 mm 9 out jack. Number 5. Connect your M11 to external DAC and amplifier where is 3.5 mm coaxial out of the port. As you can see, the 3.5 headphone output and the 3.5 line output and the 3.5 coaxial output share the same port. Number six, connect your M11 to external DAC and amplifier via its two-way USB Type-C port to achieve USB audio output. Number seven, connect your M11 to your computer and solve as the USB DAC. Number eight, transmit the signal from your M11 to other Bluetooth-enabled devices via Bluetooth. And of course, you can transmit the signal from Bluetooth-enabled devices to your M11 via Bluetooth as well. Number nine, play tracks through DLNA via Wi-Fi to your PC or NS on your M11. Number 10, play tracks via AirPlay from iOS devices on your M11. More ways of connection are waiting for you to explore. Okay, that's all for the unboxing. We have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.